what are the floor trends for 2021? Are there floor trends and are they a thing? Stick around as I get into that in the question of the day. What's going on, guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You are tuned in to the hot list. I come to you on Monday through Friday, every single week around 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We hang out and talk real estate. We talk properties new to the market with recent price reductions or something unique about the property that I want to share with y'all and want y'all to know. I also answer a question of the day that is submitted by a listener of the podcast Monday through Friday. And to find out how you get your question answered, just hang out with me to the end of the episode. And finally, I recognize and thank a sponsor of the week each and every single week. And if you are a small business owner, entrepreneur, sales manager, manager, salesperson, whatever the case may be, curious about how you could get your business or employer as a sponsor of the week on the hot list, all you got to do is stick around and I will let you know how to get that information to me. So thank you guys for joining me. It is coming down to the wire. We are winding down 2020 and I would like to think that starting first day of 2021, COVID's going to disappear. Masks are going to disappear. Everything's going to open back up. Businesses are going to open back up and thrive. Now, I don't particularly see that being the case as much as I would like to think so. However, this year is on the uh, short end and we have a new year to look forward to, which means new opportunities as well. So let's get right into it. The property we are talking about today, the address is 409 Pine Street in Americus. So this is just a few miles north of Emporia. And it is a three bed, two bath ranch style house, has 1,560 square feet of finished space, listed for 115,000 courtesy of Eck Real Estate. So uh, this house would be a great first time first time home buyer's house it is a manufactured home so there is there is no basement it does have a deck on the back as well as a covered porch out front which itself is is very cool and who who doesn't like number one a porch number two a covered porch so that right there makes it makes it worth taking a look at as well uh, also has a wood fireplace in there as well. Hardwood through throughout the throughout the house does have a detached two car garage, two car garage, along with a a shed out back as well. So all you got to do for pictures and more information about the property, just click on the link in the description. That's going to take you right to my website so you can see the property for yourself. And uh, if you have any questions after taking a look at it, let me know. If you are a pre-approved buyer looking to get into the house, uh, show the house, I'm happy to schedule appointments for pre-approved buyers to take a look if you are not currently working with an agent. So while the property is available, make sure you click on the link so you can see it for yourself once it goes under contract that link will disappear. So make sure that you take a look at it sooner rather than later. And before I get into the question of the day, I do want to recognize and thank our sponsor of the week this week, who is uh, Trolley House Distillery right here in Emporia. I've talked all week about the lengths that they've gone, gone to, uh, the the work, the, the labor, the time, the effort, as well as the money put into this and they have really done a phenomenal job and is definitely worth checking out. Uh, they do have merchandise there available other than their moonshine. As you can see, my uh, I'm sporting my, my new trolley house hat that I got. They have baseball t-shirts. They have long sleeve t-shirts. They have, they have hoodies. Uh, they have, they have hats. Make sure that you swing by and check them out what I learned while I was there and what I absolutely love. They actually have a slideshow 
on one of the TVs there that they can turn on and it gives you pictures of what Emporia used to look like. Uh, you know, all black and white pictures, downtown Emporia with the trolleys in, uh, in Emporia going downtown. It is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm not sure where they got these pictures, but they have that slideshow and then they have pictures throughout the, the distillery as well. So definitely have to go check that out and learn a little, see a little history, learn a little history while you are enjoying one of their, one of their cocktails or other adult beverage. If you are interested in being a sponsor of the week, all you got to do is just shoot me a message wherever you're listening to this, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever it is, just leave me a message in the comments. It'll come right to me. We can have a conversation and a little more details about what it takes to be a sponsor of the week uh, to support the hot list. Because again, not everybody is accepted as a sponsor of the week. I do say no to some people, uh, just not a good a good fit or mesh uh, together in sh some way, shape or form. But if you are interested, all you got to do is shoot me a message and I would be happy to have a uh, in-depth conversation with you. All right. And that brings us to my favorite part of the day or part of the day, <laughs> my favorite part of the show. And that is the question of the day. The question of the day is submitted by a listener of the podcast. So for those that have submitted questions, thank you guys so much. Everybody else, please keep those coming. That is what allows me to continue these videos, continue the content and uh, helping answer your real estate questions and you know just continuing to do what do what i do so please feel free to use me as your real estate resource i would be happy to help answer your question as well as use that for content on the on the show all you got to do just like sponsor of the week wherever you're listening to this at just drop me a comment and i would be happy to answer that question for you and then use that for uh, video content as well so question of the day, will there be hardwood floor trends next year? Well, we did answer a question similar to that about hardwood floor or floor trends are a thing, just like paint, paint trends are a thing. As 2020 winds down, thank God, uh, I, I'm sure some of you have the, have the same reaction. The new year brings new resolutions for us to make and keep, or maybe not keep, or maybe keep. I, who who knows? In anyways, one resolution that I think we could all agree on and all make is adding home renovations to our our list. Whether you're looking to fix up your home to sell or update the in-home horror that you saw and lived during the shelter in place this year, flooring is going to be a great place to start. So 2020 is, is ending. And with that homeowners from what I've been seeing and talking to people are actually looking for more, more peace or less noise than what's in their homes than what is outside their homes. Many are wanting their floors to to help with that. So what I did was some some research and some looking for an upcoming floor trends. The trends for 2021 are actually simplifying. They're going for a much cleaner looking floor with no texture. Adding new floors in your home can not only help spruce it up a little bit, but bring breathe a little new life in your home. And let's face it, after the year that that we just had, I think I think we could all use that as well as deserve it. So today we're going to talk about four hardwood floor trends for 2021. Number one, 
natural colors and stains. With 2020 being a kind of a whirl, whirlwind type year, we could all use a little more tranquility in, and calmness in, in our homes. Using hardwood floors in natural colors allows our home and our need for our home to be a place of peace and retreat from an otherwise chaotic world. Uh, and that quote actually comes from Loretta Willis, who is an interior designer in the Atlanta area. And along with that, what has been trending lately is more of oak floors in a in paler tones. Those are the most popular right now, with walnut floors being a close second. And it's become more and more popular with homeowners wanting to balance the color of the the tones of not just the paint but floors right now throughout their entire house for example what's becoming popular for people that have black cabinets or darker cabinetry are more of a subtle light brown tone floor and also with that wood stains are trending towards colors that can be achieved with more organic products uh, than just the the old base stains. So for example, right now, acidic products are more popular than just the, the, tent, the standard stains like black tea and pomegranate juice to stain an oak wood floor instead of, you know, what the, what the regular stain would be. I've also seen in the lake house that I actually listed and have under contract right now, all of their trim work and woodwork was done with vinegar and steel wool. So they achieved an absolutely incredible look just by using organic products and a little elbow grease. Number two is select grade hardwood. Did you know that Hardwood floors exist on a grading system. I actually did not until I did the research. So what the grading refers to is the look of the, of the boards, how much color variation and knotting are present in a particular piece. Some floors have more of a uniform appearance compared to others that have more, have that knotting and a little bit more of a, a rougher look. So with the, with the, what the trend is for next year, that's actually gravitating towards a more select grade style instead of the busier looking floors with knots and color variation. And what this means for people that are looking or going to be looking for hardwood floors is you're going to be more likely to see fewer patterns with knots or that don't have any stain on them that are going to be unfinished uh, then compared to the select grade flooring because again it's going to be a a little bit cleaner and more minimal look than what what has been trending over the last couple years number three is rift cut floors i've never heard of of rift cut uh, but after I was was reading it, I, I know what it is. I just didn't know there was a name for it. Now, this this style is typically chosen for a cleaner, more uniform look, similar to the select grade floors. How this is achieved is the planks are actually milled perpendicular to the logs growth rings. So this creates a, a more linear, straight grain look without flecking not flaking flecking uh, and for those that, that don't know flecking is just a mark in the in the wood with small patches of either color or some type of particles so this cutting technique is really used to show off the lines of the wood and this is trending right now and in through into 2021 because it highlights the grain of the wood and its overall natural beauty. 
And that brings us to number four, which is longer length boards. Do you have OCD? Maybe your spouse has OCD. This could be the style and the trend that you've been waiting for. If you like more of a consistent look, cleaner lines, and more of a continuous grain pattern, this is going to be the trend for you. This is the final trend for 2021 and choosing longer boards for your hardwood floors could help and will help with this look. Now, what's, what's the difference? I, I don't understand. Well, typically how hardwood floors are set up right now is you stagger the, the length of the board. So it's a blend of short, medium, and longer, longer planks. So with taking out the short and the medium planks, this gives the optical illusion of a quote unquote bigger space. So for example, if you have a smaller kitchen or smaller living room, this really helps open up with the, the look and the feel of a bigger space because you're using longer boards and there's fewer seams in it. And this is really trending because many homeowners that have hardwood floors or want hardwood floors are just tired of the constant breaks in the board and the offsets of short, medium, and longer, longer planks. Owners now are wanting more of a rhythm to their to their flooring, so they, they want that that more rhythmic look and look and feel. So there there they are. Those are the top four hardwood floor trends for 2021. Again, number one was natural colors and stains. So people are going away from the standard stains and doing or using either lighter ones or more organic style. Like I said, that can be achieved with black tea and pomegranate juice or vinegar and steel wool. Number two, select grade hardwood. These are more of a, a cleaner and more uniform appearance because they're going to have fewer color variations in it as well as fewer knots present in the, in the planks. Number three, rift cut floors. This is really to highlight and showcase the, the wood's natural beauty and highlight the grain of, of the wood itself. Again, they achieve this by cutting perpendicular to the, the logs rings and that way it just highlights it and showcases that off a little bit more. And again, finally, number four, longer length boards give the optical illusion of a bigger space because you're, it's not so choppy and cut up with alternating short, medium, and longer boards. Many people are just going with longer boards in general. Fewer seams gives that optical illusion of a bigger space. So I'm curious, do you have hardwood floors in your homes? If you do, I would love to know what, what type, what style do you have? Is it vinyl? Is it laminate? Is it true hardwood? Do you have it alternated and offset like traditional or did you go with a longer, longer plank look? I would love to know. So drop it in the comments, wherever you're listening to this, you know, what, what style, what color send and drop pictures, include pictures of what your hardwood floors look like as well. I would love to see those and share those out. So that is going to do it for me in the hot list. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Matt Johnson with Keller Williams Realty. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have a phenomenal Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.